Hey everyone, it's Rob Linton here from drumsaword.com. Today I'm going to show you how to play the song Play That Funky Music by Wild Cherry, drummed by Ronald Beetle. Beetle, I think that's pronounced. Note, a cowbell can be heard in the background for some sections. These were recorded separately to the drums. So um, throughout the song, you do get this cowbell going on in some sections of choruses usually. Um, uh, but just be aware that, that was overdubbed later in the studio. It wasn't, it, the, the drummer isn't playing his hi-hat part and the cowbell at the same time. So <clears throat> if you're with your band, you'll play this music, this funky music, then you might choose to play the cowbell part, which is just quarter notes, instead of the eighth note hi-hat part. But you will miss out, of course, on the open hi-hat. Um, sections which are quite quite prominent throughout this song. So the intro, the first four bars, we got the um, intro of, uh, 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 before the drums come in. First four bars, and Ronald comes in uh, with the drum fill on bar four. One and two and three and four and. So on beat three and on beat four, there's three sixteenth notes. One, two, and we're into our first bar. One and two and three and four and one, two and three, four and one. As you can hear there, the drum beat is, is, is quite simple. We're just simply playing one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. And that's pretty much all the way through the song, apart from some bridges where we play all the gaps between the snare drums with the bass drum. Um, other than that, we're just playing that simple bass drum pattern all the way through. Feel free, by the way, when you're playing on this music, to throw in some little 16th notes before the snare drum back beats, just to give it that sort of funky push. But it shouldn't be necessary if you've got a good rhythm section and the other musicians in the band sort of playing those, those offbeat 16th notes, perhaps on the Whiddly guitar. But um, if I was playing it, I, just, I wouldn't be able to resist doing that kind of stuff, just throwing in some little 16th notes. What I was doing there, one and uh, two, that kind of thing. So feel free to improvise when you're playing this song as well. <laughs> 